Hello and welcome back to yet another video in our continued journey of trying to master reasoning and even more specifically today we will work on fundamentals of analytical reasoning and we will do so using actual CAT questions from past years. So this is a collection of questions and the idea of going through these questions is to build a to build a basic framework of analytical reasoning what do we mean by it how does it work how does one go about solving these problems and you will see that at a fundamental level you're talking about uh, reading a rule and making a deduction or using one piece of information to conclude another piece of information and it could be as simple as that there are two friends a and b one of them is a doctor and one of them is the engineer but you don't know who is whom and then i later tell you that b is the engineer so not only you know that B is the engineer, by process of elimination and deduction, you also know that A is the doctor. At the fundamental level, we will see that our logic is never beyond this basic step, that if, if B is the engineer, A is the doctor. Obviously, as we move along in the questions and as they get tougher and tougher, the number of steps will increase. But if you zoom into a, a one specific uh, logical step, you will see it will be fundamentally something like this. So you will read information and you will deduce from it. So, so obviously part of the process will be reading the story quickly and effectively and comprehending it well, capturing the key rules and then making small logical step by step systematic deductions from there. So essentially today is going to be a demonstration in how these problems are solved and what are the fundamental kinds of problems. Even though the, the types may differ, you will see that our process or our approach or a fundamental unit of thought deployed in uh, tackling these challenges is always the same. It, this will, all of this will make more sense once we have tried out a few questions. So try out those questions given below and then join the discussion. So I hope you guys uh, spend some time and try out the questions and I'm reasonably sure that the first set uh, most people will find it uh, fairly easy and straightforward. But I'll still start with this question to uh, uh, kickstart our process, get the engines warmed up and even this is a good set because you don't get certain answers. This is the first kind of a set where you will not have fixed answers. You will get some part of the picture but not necessarily the whole thing. And, uh, and you will go question by question and you'll figure out what needs to be done, right? So what I'm saying will make sense in a minute as you try out the example. So five of India's leading models are posing for a photography, promoting you know world peace and understanding. All, all of this is useless for me. I want to get to the heart of the problem. So your ability to read quickly and effectively for the important things is also going to be uh, a fairly important skill in the process, right? But then Rakesh Shrestha, the photographer is having a tough time getting them to stand in a straight line. So now I know that it's a linear arrangement problem, so I can start thinking in that direction. And rules are given step by step. Ashwarya refused to stand next to Sushmita because Sushmita had something about her in a leading gossip magazine. Once again, this part of the sentence was completely useless for me. So maybe you need to underline or focus or capture the main idea that Ashwarya refused to stand next to Sushmita. So Ashwarya cannot be next to Sushmita. I don't know where they are standing in the row, but I know they cannot be together. And we will see that this is pretty much the process. Read the rule, capture the rule, and then make deductions using the rule, which we'll make in a minute. Sushmita had something, uh, I'll skip that. Rachel and Anu want to stand together because they are such good friends, you know. So Rachel and Anu, Rachel and Anu, they have to be together. I'm using a cross to indicate that they cannot be together and an underline to indicate that they have to be together. Then it says Manpreet on the other hand cannot get along well with Rachel because I will not even read it. Manpreet cannot get along with Rachel. That means Man that means Manpeet cannot stand next to Rachel. I can put this information together because Rachel is already connected to Anu or I can capture it separately. Reading further, Anu, again I have some information about Anu. Anu believes a friendly astrologer who has asked her to stand at the extreme right for all group photographs. 
so now maybe i can go for a picture for the first time say there are these five models to be arranged anu wants to be the rightmost so i am now beginning to get the uh, the picture right and i know rachel is obviously standing next to uh, rc or ra whatever you want to call it is standing next to anu i know that much also because of this particular rule right and i know manpreet cannot be here that means this place cannot be taken by manpreet and then i read finally rakesh managed to pacify the girls and got a beautiful picture so this is the only story given to me and rakesh or rajesh and rakesh or whatever the photographer's name is he got the picture so let me try and work with the story i haven't got all the details but let me see what i can do i cannot put manpreet here that means i will put manpreet here or here think about it manpreet here or manpreet here that means this is uh, that means i'm thinking of anu rachel i don't know who here and manpreet here or anu rachel don't know who's here don't know who's here and manpreet is here now let me think there are two more people that i need to worry about ash and sushmita they cannot be together if manpreet is here this slot will be empty and i can do ash and i can do sushil but remember because i have no more information this uh, scenario could very well be manpreet in the middle and sushmita here and ash here now what do i do i don't have complete information right so i will create these multiple stories or i will understand okay that from the data given there are multiple stories happening and that further zooming in or further selection will depend on the question so i don't have to worry about the the fact that the picture is not complete and i'm getting multiple answers so keep that in mind right can manpreet be here so these are two possible scenarios can manpreet be in the first place she cannot be here why because i have a rule ash uh, ash and sushmita cannot be together but these will be the only two places because anu and rachel will be here anu and rachel will be here and ash and sushmita will have to be here because you have put manmeet here but that is not pos possible that means this scenario is also not possible so now i have only two possible scenarios and let me try and move towards the question it says if ashwarya is standing to the extreme left ashwarya is standing to the extreme left in this particular story what is the story anu rachel sushmita manpreet manmeet whatever and then ashwarya so if ashwarya is standing to the extreme left who is the girl standing in the middle so middle is sushmita in this particular story and that would be my answer the next question says if ashwarya stands to the extreme left ashwarya stands to the extreme ashwarya stands to the extreme left still the same story which is the girl who stands second from left so second from left first from left and second from left now my answer would be manpreet or option d and now the last question uh, if anu's astrologer tells her to stand second from left and ashwarya decides to stand second from right that means this story is not working for me anymore new rules have been given so let me plot the five places again and let me follow the story again if anu's astrologer tells her to stand second from left first from left and this is second from left so anu is here and furthermore ashwarya decides to stand second from right ashwarya is second from right then who is the girl standing on the extreme right the question is who is standing here so now i can start playing with any of the stories if i look at ash and sushmita story ash is in the middle and sushmita cannot be next to her that means sushmita cannot be here that means sushmita cannot be here that means sushmita has to be here Rachel has to stand next to Anu but there is only one position available next to Anu that means Rachel has to come to this position and then i am left with Manpreet and i will put Manpreet in the last position so my question is who is standing on the extreme right my answer would be Manpreet so a fairly easy question just the beginning of having multiple scenarios but very very limited just two possible scenarios so that's it uh, for this set a fairly easy set a good set to build the process warm up build some confidence and understand the overall process in the game what am i doing i'm looking at the rule and then i am making deductions or conclusions 
so this information was given to me that ash cannot be next to sush when ash was here sush cannot be here that's a deduction if sush cannot be here there is only one position here sush has to be here that is a deduction so read the rule and make a deduction is our game and this was a very very simple example of that these are also cat questions uh, from fairly early onwards i think 90s or so